Hey everyone, Brian and I are live. We are driving around because Birdie. Oh, poor thing, the sun's on her. And we don't want to go home yet because we want her to keep sleeping because she missed her second nap. So we are going to entertain ourselves by hopefully entertaining you and talking to you for a little bit. So, in saying that, who's excited to watch Total Bellas in an hour and a half? I know we are. So remember, it goes live 9 Eastern, 8 Central. I'm sorry, West Coasters. We all have to wait till 9 p.m. I know. It sucks. But um, awesome. So many people are joining us. Yay. Join us on this drive, this quiet drive. It's supposed to be quiet. Well, it's supposed to be quiet. But Brody likes hearing our voices. I feel like that's what puts her to sleep. Right? Maybe. I think Brie just... I actually usually play this type of music to get her to sleep. It's like this pregnancy music I used to listen to. But anyways. So, um, if you have any questions to ask us, put it in the comments. Other than that, I'm just going to keep rambling on about nonsense. And I'm going to shamelessly plug Total Bellas. And tell you that tonight's going to be amazing. Because it's about the Royal Rumble. You Getting her prepped for the Rumble. That's right. Getting her prepped for the Rumble. Yeah. Number one coach. Him. And so, um, it's really cool. You get to see, like, backstage at the Rumble, but you get to see my journey back into the ring and some of the issues I had. Um, and just how, I don't know, chaotic it is, you know, being a mom trying to get back into shape. Which sucks, because I'm still, like, some... And bringing a baby. Bringing yeah. a baby to the Royal Rumble. Yeah. What a bad idea that was. It really was. <laughs> and... So everyone knows, because the cameras weren't with me, that the night before the rumble, I literally had two hours of sleep because Birdie, she was teething, right? She was teething. Teething. I was breastfeeding every couple hours. Um, there's actually a photo I will probably post tonight um, to show you because I finally took a picture. And I literally was on two hours of sleep. I was so exhausted. And Birdie was just in the bed with me, just nursing every couple hours. It was chaotic. So, um... But yeah, but you know, the minute I got to the building, it woke me right up because I was so excited and the energy of the fans are always the best. So, and the coffee, the copious amounts of coffee. Yeah. But no, Brian, because I was breastfeeding, oh, that's right. she I only, wasn't drinking I coffee. couldn't have no them with coffee. No, I could have coffee, but only one cup. Oh yeah. That's so right. it was pure adrenaline that was keeping me awake. Mm. Pure adrenaline. And then when I found out what number I was in the rumble, I was like, well, it's way past my bedtime. Like, please stay awake, Brie. Please stay awake. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's see. Bird's still sleeping. Yeah, still sleeping. This might be a long, um, a long drive. Nobody has any questions? Yeah, does anyone have any questions? Feel, you can even ask uh, Brian anything. I feel like they're asking you questions, but you no, I, everyone's saying hi. <laughs> everyone's saying hi. And a lot of, I love the, they're giving me the love eyes. Oh. The hard eyes. What does that mean? You um, guys know that she's taken, right? <laughs> you guys know that she's taken. See, everyone says hello. <laughs> oh, what are your favorite foods? Talking about mine or yours? Both. What well, are your Brian and I are vegetarians. Um, I love and, chips and salsa. Oh, chips and salsa we love. And honestly, like, I couldn't live without pizza. I love pizza. Ugh. And I like Asian food, too. I don't know. I feel like I love everything. Anything that's made well. Yes. Like, yeah. there's, no style, there's yeah. no style of food that you don't like if it's made well. That's true. We're huge foodies. We love... I feel like we love to cook at home, but we also love to go out to eat. Yeah, we just love stuffing our faces. Yeah. Whether it's at home or away from home. Yeah. Or at other people's homes. Totally. So someone asked, what's our favorite color? What's my favorite, favorite color? My favorite color is probably red. Yeah. Hmm. Or yellow. You really like yellow. I do like She yellow. doesn't like roses. How about that? I don't like roses. How about my wife doesn't like roses? <laughs> so whenever I get her flowers, I always have to avoid roses like the plague. That's right. That's really right. So what's your favorite color? Brian's is blue. 
Mm. Yeah, your favorite color is blue. He has a blue Honda Fit. You love blue. A baby blue Honda Fit. Baby blue. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal... I was always obsessed with cows and giraffes growing up. I love all animals, but maybe I always look at them and just... They have a special place in my heart because that was always my favorite animal. How about you? Uh, I have recently fallen in love with sloths. I feel like I'm very sloth-like. Very. When I saw... What was that movie? Uh, Zootopia. Zootopia. The sloths in Zootopia. I was like... That's Brian. So Brian. He does everything so slow. How can I help you to He kills me. Day he has the patience to do this forever, too. <laughs> Bree does not have the patience to listen to Heck me do no. that forever. I will literally leave the room. It drives me crazy. Surfer. Yep. Look at surfers just, you know, running Every, around San Diego. Everybody everybody going to the beach but us. Everyone going to the beach but us. That's what happens when you're your parents. You start looking at holidays that you're just like, what can I do with a baby? And you realize, oh, now what? And when you tell your tell your sister that you're going to do the live tweeting while she's at Bottle Rock having fun. Because I want to. <laughs> so, what's your favorite part of each other? Oh, what a great question. My favorite part of Brian is that he's literally the sweetest human being I've ever met. I've never met a sweeter man ever. And as a woman, to have a man that, that's sincere and sweet is really nice. Uh, so... There are so many things that I love about Bree, but one of the one of my most favorite things now is how good of a mom she is. Oh, sweet thing. Um, so like she just like Birdie literally could not have a better mother. And it's incredible because with how much like we were I was just gone for eighteen days. Bree took Birdie to New York, traveled all around with her and like does that and still maintains it'd be easy for her to just like hire a nanny who just watches birdie all day and she just runs off does her thing and then comes home and kisses birdie good night and then goes to bed right that'd be easy but she doesn't she wants to spend as much time with birdie as possible and that's uh you can see not right now you can't see but most of the time when you meet birdie you can see how happy she is and that's thanks to this woman right here. That's really sweet. That's why I always look so tired and never put on makeup. But um, Birdie has been on 36 flights with me. She's done a lot of traveling. They still won't give me a rapids reward number for her. But that's okay. One day. So, and keep in mind, so Brie was super tired this morning. And she still made her blueberry, gluten-free vegan blueberry pancakes. And for lunch, I made her sweet potato quinoa cakes. Sweet potato quinoa cakes. I do love to cook. I love cooking. It's like my therapy. Ooh, question. When are we going to have the second baby? Uh, well, we were going to start trying in August, but Brie keeps pushing it back. Yes, because when I travel... Business. It's for business. You know what she says? She says business. <laughs> I got to get business done. Yes, because we. I'm very busy. Um, just like Brian is and just bringing bird with me everywhere is a lot I just couldn't imagine if like I had two I'm just not ready for it yet but I think maybe next summer I mean hey I want to get back in that ring you know come back for something so maybe when I can next summer yeah I think like summer of 2019 yeah is when you want to get pregnant mm -hmm. holy cow well, I mean... So, just so you guys know, if you, if you guys are adding the math, that means I'm going to be 60 years old by the time our second baby graduates high school. <laughs> 60. 60 is the new 30. No, it's not. It is absolutely not the new 30. Okay. 60 might be the new 57. That's what everybody says. Whatever. 60 is the new 57. <laughs> Mom has to kick some ass in the ring before she has another baby. But we'll see. Who knows? He'll probably try to knock me out. Watch. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me? <laughs> Whatever. 
Okay, well, we're almost home, so if you have any more questions, ooh, where do you guys dream to go? Actually, that's a really good one because Brian and I have Brie both... wants to go to Thailand. Yeah, we both want to go to Thailand. For different reasons. I want to go to the elephant sanctuary and have breakfast with the elephants, and Brian wants to kickbox. <laughs> and we both want to get massages. So Cheap massages. Yes. So um, Thailand is like on top of our list. And then, um, where else is it that we wanted to go? I mean, I want to go to so many places. Yeah. I want to go to Norway and Sweden. Oh, that's the thing. We both want to go see the, um, the lights. What can you think of? The, the, the light. Northern lights. The Northern lights. So we want to go stay in one of those igloo-like hotels and see the Northern lights. I'm not also. And go in the I'm, hot springs. I'm not big on. I've never been on a cruise, and I don't feel like I'd be big on cruises, but I really want to do, like, an Alaskan cruise. Alaskan cruise would be fun, but cruises kind of weird me out. I don't know, I get scared. Like, you're just on a boat the whole time. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. I also, I like trips, so I would like to do the, uh, the trip together where we just go down Highway 1 from Washington all the way down to San Diego. Yeah. We'd have to get, like, an Airstream. Hmm. Or we could just ride in the fit, all of us. No, it sounds miserable. Sorry, not happening. Um, we okay. camp under the stars. No, see, I would like that. But those airstreams are so cool. <laughs> they you are could so do, cool. Right? So. If Airstream wants to sponsor us, if anybody knows somebody with an airstream and they want to sponsor us, give us a free thing. We'll make some YouTube videos. How about that? He always throws it in. <laughs> This kind of stuff. Um, okay, well, let's oh, see. Oh, look we... who's up. Oh, is Birdie up? Birdie, are you up? Hyper Bird. Well, there you have it. Bird Bird's up, which means we're going home. We're going home. Birdie, did you sleep good? Did you sleep good, my little sweet girl? She's ignoring me. Okay. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy Total Bellas tonight. It's a really great episode. Birdie's the star of Total Bellas, so um, you have to catch her. She shows her parents up, like always. And, um, yeah, so 9, 8 Central. It's only on E. And um, I hope you enjoyed our little drive of letting Birdie take her little nap in the car. So have a safe Memorial Day weekend. If you're drinking, get a DD and um, have fun. Okay. Love you, Bella Army. You want to say bye, Brian? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then I always am like, where's end? Oh, there it is. Okay. Bye, everyone.